had a thought that I just had to share. I watch a lot of uh, extras, DVD extras, because I'm interested in movies and I'm a filmmaker, you know. And a lot of the time when I'm working, when I'm editing, um, I'll have movies and extras and things on the background. I have this, this, this hard drive with loads of stuff on and I just sort of let things play at random, see what comes up. And so I see a lot of DVD extras about people talking about how movies are made. I'm sick to death of DVD extras filled with people who run certain departments in film industries saying that the important thing about their department is that nobody notices that they do that they that they're there. It goes to the musician who talks about his music and said, "Well, the important thing is that nobody notices the music because if people notice the music, then it's it's over the top. It's not doing its job. It should be under underlying the scene. It should be in the emotional. If the audience notices the music, it's not doing its job properly. Then it goes to the costume department. Somebody in the costume department says, "Well, the important thing about the costumes is that they that they have to blend in. They have to look like they're part of the scenery and part part of the part of the story and part." of the, the period. Uh, if they stand out, you know, then they're not doing their job properly. If people notice them, they're not doing their job properly. And then it goes to the special effects department. The special effects department says, well, you know, the best special effects are the ones that people don't notice. And it's like, what is is everybody supposed to watch these films and not notice anything? That's the impression that I'm getting. Why why don't filmmakers just make a film of like a, a white screen for two hours and then everybody can say, what a success, I didn't notice anything. It's just ridiculous, you know, and I, I happen to disagree personally. You know, I like music that stands out. You know, I, I like film music. I, I love it when the music goes bum, 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 when the music's louder when you notice it like in, in the 80s when they made films you always noticed the music you know, Star Wars and E.T. and Back to the Future and Raiders of the Lost Ark you know you noticed the music you went out humming the music and nowadays everybody seems to think that you're not supposed to notice anything in films it does my head in I'm sick of, and it's and it's become a really boring cliche for everybody that's in the film industry the first thing they say when they're on a documentary or on a featurette but the important thing about my department is that nobody notices me. I mean, imagine if the actor said that. Oh, it's important that nobody notices me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hide in this cupboard while I do my my soliloquy. Every every industry is full of cliches. It's just it's just stunning to me that the top people who are making the top films, who are the most successful films, and the most successful people who are hired to help in the most successful films. They all sort of say really ordinary, boring things, and none of them seem to sort of have a thought of their own. They all say the same old cliches when the camera's pointed at them. I can name a few films that nobody noticed. Um, I don't know, Secret Admirer, a film that I happen to like. Nobody noticed that when that came out. Nobody noticed it. It wasn't successful because nobody noticed it. Um, um... You know, the thing is, I'm struggling to think of other films. I'm struggling to think of films that nobody noticed because nobody noticed them. Surely, the most important thing in any industry which is trying to sell an art form, the number one important thing is that people notice. They may have a point in some artistic sense, they may have a point, but it's just a point I've heard too many times now. You look at films now and they are kind of all the same. And I think it's because they all have the same opinion. Everybody making the films um, are working from the same playbook, you know, the same rule book. And everything is kind of spotless now and perfect. And the problem with that is that they have no real spirit and they've got no life inside them because they're all kind of like expertly made by very good skillsmen and they're not um, works from the heart of artists. And that's why the film industry is a bit crap at the moment. I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy the Marvel films. I really, really do. I think they're great. But... I think it's a shame that the number one movie of all time at the moment is, you know, Endgame. It shouldn't be that. It should be a film that's been made by someone who has a passion for something that they want to make a film about. And OK, you can argue that these people have a passion for making superhero films, but that's it's not really something that you have in your heart, is it, you know? If you watch this and you think I have any sort of anything to say, anything that's interesting, if you disagree with me, you know, make a comment down below. I won't necessarily answer it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know because I haven't had any yet. I haven't got in, in, into that habit. But, uh, but please, you know, go ahead. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong.